Hello everyone, this is Luke, and you're watching OPK Gaming. This is episode 26 of season 2 of our Minecraft Modcraft Let's Play series. And as you can see, we have an absolute insane amount of solar panels now. My machine, I've been working on it the last hour or so, and I'm trying... Oh, it's night, I forgot about that. Sleep! Okay, so I've been working on it the last hour or so, and I've been trying to make it as efficient as possible. I finally got a centrifuge extractor, which is working very well. It's actually working so well that it seems to be overflowing. I probably should get another. Now I'm going to hook it up another. Uh, hook up another one. Just one of those, one of those, and I'm going to throw this right here. There. No. Come on. Place it. Place it. There. Okay. Whew, now it works. So, what's going to happen is this is going to pump out an insane amount of rubber, which is actually pumping out... It's making way too much, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Because this, before, didn't make anything. This was... The copper cables were definitely getting way behind. So, yeah, I decided to up the ante a bit, and now we're producing them very rapidly. Wow. Look at that. It is just pumping out copper cables. And that was actually a huge problem because as you can see, the electronic circuit maker is working just fine, but it's not making, there's not enough copper cables. And this, it needs six. So it needs a lot. It just takes a lot of time. And there, before I didn't have enough rubber, which is now being made too quickly. <laughs> So I may need yet another one of these. You know, I might as well just place it down. So I'm gonna put three pumps, where the redstone engine is. Yeah, redstone engines hooked up to this one machine. Let's throw that there. And get another redstone torch. Come on, redstone torches, where are you? Okay, whew. So what, I've just been working on this. I don't know how long I've been working on it forever. I don't know how to power this. How would I power this? Hmm. This is perplexing. <laughs> I found a problem, but I think I found the solution already. Smart, Luke, smart. There we go, nice. This is... Oops. Huh. Okay, hmm. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, wow. That's a fail on my part. Okay. What else can I do? I could put... Oh, this is an idea. This is an idea. I'm just trying something new. I'm gonna put that there. Hopefully nothing interferes. So yes, all of these are powered now. This is probably gonna pump out super duper fast. And I think this is making it a little bit too fast. Hmm. Just just a little bit. <laughs> oh well. Hey, you can never have too much rubber. Bow chicken wow wow. Yes. So this whole cycle is producing an absolute insane amount of solar panels. I already have, this one's a medium voltage, and I have three more over there, and enough for, let me see, I, I've been making low voltage transformers, medium voltage transformers, I think I might have enough for a high voltage transformer, I don't know. That'd be awesome, because those things are boss, absolute bosses. Oh, yes, indeed we do. <laughs> Wait, no, that's low voltage, fail. Okay, so we have nine more low voltage solar rays, and I think I had more in my bag. So we have another medium voltage array. Come on, hopefully, hopefully I have one. Yeah, yes, I do, eight. I can, yes, I can make one more medium voltage and I think I'm just a couple away from a high voltage. Unfortunately, right now I don't want to use it because I want both areas to be powered. And another good thing is to make the centrifuge extractor, you have to have electrolyzed water. Well, I got it. Apparently you have to have a completely full MFSU. Absolutely 100% completely full. So I'm gonna charge these up. They charge very quickly, especially when they're full. So I don't even think I need these anymore. I'm gonna charge this up. In does it charge an MFSU? Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm going to remove two of them because I honestly don't think I need them. The, old, the whole reason why I had, I think, let's make sure, lossless mode, lossless mode, I'd prefer not to lose them. And where'd the other one go? Another one, another one, there you are, okay. Whew. So we have three medium voltage solar arrays. Yeah, I love how my brain just, I don't know why, but I can never think of solar panels. I just think 
I don't know, my brain just goes kaput. So, what I may want to do is actually completely bypass this. I may want to go, instead of going through the MFSU, is directly go to the Transformer. The reason being, well actually, mm, yeah, I don't really see the point. So we're going to put this on, and hopefully get a lot of power. And you can actually watch the process, the progress of it, through our EU reader. So let's check how much energy is flowing through this one point right here. So we're starting new measurement, wait a couple seconds. 266 EU a tick. Wow. Oh, 276, my bad. That is, oh, 286. Okay, it seems to be going up, but that is an absolute insane amount of energy. Most of it is probably coming from these solar rays. I highly doubt much of it's coming from here. Let me see. Yeah, just 10. I think these just produce... Oh, that one's producing 0. Uh, 0. So only the ones that are running produce 10. So... Oh, hmm. Oh, yeah, that's from this. So definitely most of the energy is all from these solar panels. Just 4... No, yeah. 4, four, four of these solar panels produces a whopping 280... Or 256, it fluctuates. You would take. That is absolutely insane. Way more energy than you should be, than you really need, but oh well. And I'm going to hook these up again, and you can see how quickly, even though there's no food or anything in here, whatever it's called, it seems to be going... Oh, never mind. Hmm. Wait, I want to try something. So right now, it's hooked up to the low voltage transformer, but if I hook it up directly to my circuits, let's see if he goes any faster. Mm, not particularly... Oh, yeah, it does seem to be going a little bit faster. Not particularly, but it does produce, yeah, it's going up a lot faster than it would normally with normal power. So, oh cool, we have 25, 38 UU matter, awesome. I don't really need it right now, seeing how I already have like half of the armor. So, and also, I destroyed my energy, no, sorry, the recycler, because I'm an idiot like that. I need to make a new one. But this whole cycle is running practically perfectly, it is just absolutely amazing how well it's running this thing is the the best of the best the best yes it just it's amazing i don't know how else, how better to exp explain it and i think i need to put more yeah i'm probably gonna have to upgrade the speed of this right now all there are is just collectors i think i'm gonna have to get a energy no yes no antimatter relay oh there you go my brain died so let's see Antimatter relay. Let's see if we can't make one. I have plenty of UU. I mean EU or yeah, everything. I just I have so much stuff now. I don't even. <laughs> the whole point I'm playing now is just to make newer and cooler inventions like that, which I still haven't worked on. So let's throw this. Mm, there's not much room down here. Oh. Eh. Yeah, what the heck. I'll throw that there, one there, one, come on. Oh, no, that's a, another collector. That would be bad. The whole reason why I don't want to collect, yeah, connect these collectors is because this one is making sticky resin. If I added a collector Mark III, it would just produce so much power, it would definitely kill it. It wouldn't be good for it, so let's just say that. Okay, I can remove this one. There you go, nice. So this should be producing an insane amount of copper very very quickly and I could probably get another one let's see yes I could I could move this place it there and put another one right here if need be later because right now it seems to be producing very quickly and this is producing yes it's producing very rapidly <laughs> nice I don't know how else to explain it and I'm probably going to need another one over here. I'm going to need a lot of pumps. If you guys think I should be using... Well, tell me if you guys think I should be using other kinds of pumps. I just like the redstone ones because, well, they're awesome for just pumping items. They're not really useful for any other reason. And also, they're cheap. And I think I have... Nope, don't. I have no more. Oh, darn it. I should probably make some more. I probably will make some more. Yep, I'm going to go make some more. Okay, so in the time I've been working on this, I've managed to whop, sorry, get a whopping, oh, let's collect this, oh, I think a full stack of red matter, yes, a full stack of red matter, minus two, so, yes, 
62 red matter. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely insane. Way more than I've ever had before. But it comes with a price. A lot and lot and lot of collectors. Oh my gosh, you should... You should see my collector. Well, I've already shown you them, but look at that. Look at that. That is insane. So I'm going to make yet another flower because I love my flowers. And we're going to try to get just the maximum amount of power. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to try to really... My brain just went dead. What was I going to say? I was going to say... Hmm. Something about brain. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you guys get the gist that I'm trying to make an insane energy maker thing. And what I have here, it's just producing diamonds, which is okay, I guess. I'm going to leave it as diamonds for now. But eventually, of course, I'm going to make it red matter. Come on. And I'm, of course, going to expand this. 30 collectors, of course I'm going to expand it. I'm probably going to just keep expanding it this way and also this way and... I'm probably vertically as well. I'm probably gonna add another floor. So there's gonna be a floor above this that's just gonna be for collecting, and then another floor which is gonna be all collectors. If you get my gist, I've said that to like ten times. Okay. So and over here, I've been working my hardest trying to get this as efficient as possible. If I see any drops like that, I have to immediately pick it up and start. Well, for one, I put it away just to make it easier myself and find what the problem is. And right now, the problem is that there's not enough generators being made. And the generators come from over here, which, and I see that there's not enough machine blocks. So I'm like, okay, well, what's wrong with the machine blocks? Are they not being made fast enough? And I can see that there's not enough refined iron coming in, and therefore there's not enough iron. So yeah, I've been working really, really hard trying to get an insane amount of energy collectors and as you can see, when we right click, it's producing iron like crazy. So what I think I'm gonna do is just throw in a couple diamonds just to speed things up. And hopefully, if we can right click it perfectly. There we go, nice. So we have a full thing of diamonds and it's pumping out with two pumps. One of them is not fully, but hopefully when it is, it'll be pumping out very quickly. And as you can see, it's pumping out faster than it can make it, which is not what I want. I want it to be pumping out slower than I can make it, or the exact same. Then, then I know it's really efficient and working very well. Oops, wrong one. It's kind of, kind of confusing having all these <laughs> different bags, but it helps a lot in the, in the long run. So let's see. But basically this thing is running absolutely like flawlessly it is just running so well I've, I've definitely improved the speed of it a bunch this right now this is the weakest link I guess you can say and it's pumping out as fast as it can it's making the, the iron as fast as it can I'm definitely going to need I think on top of here I'm gonna put another relay so let's see if we can get out another relay maybe no I'll have to burn two of these there we go, so we're gonna make another relay. Oh, wait, I only needed one. Okay, cool. So, what I'm gonna do is put a relay right here. Nope, no, it's not a relay. Derp, derp. We're gonna put an antimatter relay right here and put a collector right, come on, there. So now it should be going even faster. Yep, that seem to be going faster. And I don't see anywhere else I can put, oh gosh, I mean, I have so many pumps and everything, I don't see anywhere else I can put it. Maybe, un no, I can't put it under. Hmm, where can I put it? Wait, what is this over? I wanna see what, is this over an energy cut? No, hmm, I have an idea. I, I wish, oh wait, this, this could work, guys. So bear with me, what I'm gonna try to do is move this, obviously, this little thing. I'm going really redstone. I, I don't know what it's called. My brain dies sometimes. I hope you guys know that by now. And I'm going to put here is yet another an antimatter relay. So we're going to burn this antimatter relay and you get 29,000 EMC left over. Nice. I did not know that. So we're going to throw this here and that should speed things up a bit and then throw this there and that should go even faster. So this should be basically running pretty much maximum efficiency. I 
if I could put one there. Actually, you know what? I could. Oh, brilliant idea. I just had another brain blast. Okay, so we're going to bypass. We're going to get out our stone pipes, wherever they are. Yeah, that's cobblestone. And we're going to have this go around. So we're going to get... Oh, wait, that is not supposed to be happening. No, do not want that happening. Okay, so right now, they're all just going to go above and around, and it's just going to work great. So let's throw that in there. Oh, why was I losing heat? Oh, I know I was losing heat. Okay, hmm. That's a problem as well, because I need it to have heat, but it can't have heat if there's nothing to power it. Hmm. Problems, problems. So many problems. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna try to work my best to make this work well, and then we're gonna get working on that, and then after that, we're going to make our house. This is gonna be a very action-packed episode, and with no action. <laughs> Alright, be right back. So, in the time that I've been working on that again, I've managed to get a whopping 196 solar panels. This is absolutely insane. I don't know why we need 196 solar panels, unless... You're trying to power the entire universe, but who's going to complain? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. That is just, it's like a pool. <laughs> so yes, we have an absolute insane amount of solar panels. So I'm going to put stick them all together and we're going to reorganize this. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five. What did I get that? Five, no, four full stacks and another 14. Wow. That's pretty, pretty crazy, I have to say. And this machine, I've been working, I've made that much faster now. It's producing, I think, two machine blocks every couple seconds. It's very fast now. It used to be a lot slower, a lot, lot slower. However, I think in order to rectify the problems, because, oh, actually now it's making a lot of, now it's not making enough batteries. <laughs> so I think I've been... Okay, I have to like mess with this a lot and sometimes I mess something up. Like for example, there's not enough redstone getting to this, obviously. So we're gonna have to up the redstone transfer. And what I had for the redstone is down, let's go down here. Do, 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 do. So, okay, so as you can see, I have a orderer thing for the redstone. I think what I'm gonna have to do, oh wait, that's weird. Oh, I forgot I did that, huh. Okay. Weird. Wait, do any cables go there? I'm, I'm just checking to make sure that I'm, everything's right over here. Make sure I'm not screwing everything up too badly. Come on, let me right click it. Okay, well, this box over here isn't letting me click it. Hmm. So, what I have it doing is redstone will go down here and it'll go to random directions. Right now, I have it mostly going to red, which I think. But I, I think more of it has to go to blue. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, I think more of it has to go to blue. Oh. Huh. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, no, red. Okay, more of it has to go to red. So I'm gonna put it to one to one ratio. So that means half of it will go that way and half of it go the other way. Yay! This is so complex, oh my gosh. You guys don't even know how complex it is. I've been working on this, well, you probably do, but yeah, I've been working on this for I don't know how long, and it's producing so many solar panels, as evident by my insane amount of solar panels. And just, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. It's way better than that diamond factory I had before. It's totally worth it. And it seems to be dropping stuff, which is not a good thing. So what's, yeah, it's once again behind on generators. Uh, it's always behind on generators. Stupid generators. And now it's behind on RE batteries. I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to do some fixing for this. See what's wrong with the redstone. And as I have redstone going from all the way over here, all the way over there, I may just have it go here, because that's the first location, and then make a separate redstone thing going here. Okay. And then now, I'm finally going to get started on the nuke thing. We're just, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so welcome back. I It's been a little bit while since I last talked, but you guys, it's been a microsecond, and a huge problem came up. I was, I was working on this, and well, a creeper managed to blow up, let's say, okay, let me just show you what he blew up. 
I was down here, you don't actually see an explosion mark because this actually resists creeper explosions, but this area. So all the pipes were gone. And I was just like, oh my god. It, it really screwed up my entire factory because all these machine blocks and everything, ugh, an absolute pain. And then also I have to go pick up all the little cables that I threw down, like, because it dropped a whole bunch of cables. Yep, it's, uh, it's been a problem. And as you can see, I've actually, oh, closed solar panels, uh, wrong way. Well, I have 52 solar panels and chests in here, that's pretty good. The thing we're going to do is just put this alchemical chest, if we can get it. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm going to place the alchemical, ch uh, alchemical chest instead right here, just to make it easier. Bam, nice. So now all of my coal dust will pump into here, making everything nice and simple. Okay, so what else? I, yeah, I screwed everything up and that to rewire, uh, rewire everything. And it's just, it was just a pain. I'm probably gonna have to spend another hour or so fixing this. This is insanely complex. I didn't realize how complex this was when I made it, but now looking back at it, oh wow. It's just they have like iron pipes and then all these different like distribution pipes and it's kind of a mess. <laughs> so this one isn't doesn't seem to be getting enough redstone. And the redstone, I think, is random distribution. Let me check. Yep, it does seem to be random distribution. I think less of it needs... Yeah, I don't think I need as much here. So we're going to take a lot of it. We're going to put a distribution pipe down. <laughs> hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. So we're going to throw this down once there's a, a slow spot. If there's a slow spot. Okay, just going to throw it down. So let's see. I'm going to change it so that blue... So we have to immediately make sure white is one, I mean zero, so that it doesn't lose anything. What else? And I think I'm going to make it so more of it goes to blue. And none of it, and all of it to everything except for those. Okay, great. Do, 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 do. So now most of the redstone will go to the right, where it should be going. Might as well make it four, I don't see why not. And the other bit will go all the way over here. So this is insanely complex, way more complex than it needs to be, but that that's my middle name, practically. Not literally. Complex would be a weird middle name. But it does seem to be working very well in my standards. And I'm just going to throw in some more of these, just to speed things up temporarily. And as you can see, now what it's doing is it's going down, and then it's going right, around, up, and then up. And my distribution pipes has it so that only it's only exiting the white. It would take if I wanted to use diamond pipes, it would just be too complex. And this one, all I have to do is set all of them to zero except for the target. Yep, I love these mods; they're absolutely amazing. <laughs> what other mods can you make, solar panel makers? I mean, I, this is zero percent. I mean, okay. Other than this, there's absolutely no way. Okay, wait, that's a lie. Hmm. So it's pretty much mostly build craft stuff, as evidenced by the insane amount of. Oh wow! Look at all those. Look at all of those. That's insane. Okay. So, my other project, my nuclear reactor, I've been working on an entrance because I got bored of putting the roof on because I'm really weird like that. And also, speaking of roof, I should probably put all these coal dust away. Coal dust is helpful in the long run, but right now I don't really need it. So let's get rid of all this. Might as well get rid of the glass as well. And I don't think... Well, I'll just burn those. I'll burn the glass too. Yep, I love burning stuff. And actually, I got so many copper cables that I actually just decided to throw them all into the ocean. And same thing with, I believe... What was it? Yeah, see, I, I got tons of copper cables. And then I got a whole bunch of one other thing, I forgot what it was, and I just threw all that in the ocean. Because I'm awesome like that. Okay, so, here we go with our amazing alchemy bag. I'm gonna put away all this stuff. What else don't I need? Do not need that. You know, I might as well just throw, might as well just throw in the ocean. <laughs> Off to the ocean with thee. And what else? I don't really need the solar panels. And as you can see, we have eight full stacks. Eight, no, nine. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine full stacks. 
That's absolutely amazing. That is a breakthrough. <laughs> well, if I, I guess you can say it's a breakthrough, but seriously, eight full stacks, that's enough for, I think it's eight of the HV solar arrays. Yes, a whopping eight. Uh, yep, a lot, a lot of resources. But I think in the end, it is worth it because you will just have so much like energy, you'll be able to make mass in, I don't know, half a second. It's really pretty awesome, can't wait. So yes, that's what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna finish this reactor as soon as possible. Be right back. And so I came back to my base, and I found that we have 215. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy, I have to say. 215 solar panels. We're just gonna watch this flow out, because I love watching things flow out. Dun dun dun! And yes, oh my gosh, that's all solar panels. I should probably make a HV and low voltage solar panel maker, but that would take too much time. <laughs> I already have a pretty complex system. So we added another, let's see, now we have one, two, three, eight, that's 12, 12 full stacks. Wow, that's, that's the definition of insane. I can guarantee that. So, with these 12, I think that's enough for, tw yeah, 12, the 12 full stacks equals 12 HV solar arrays. So we're going to get working on those, and we already have some low voltage, but we're going to need some, let's see, we're going to need a medium voltage transformer, we're going to need more of those. We're also going to need some low voltage transformers, which doesn't look like I have any of, and some high voltage transformers, hopefully, and you need energy crystals for them, that's why I have the energy crystals. And it doesn't look like I have any redstone, so I'll make that. And that's why I always keep some glowstone on me. Let me see, let's throw that in there, burn it, and we'll get, oh, I think a stack of glowstone's enough. No, wait, no, two stacks. I'm gonna get two stacks of redstone. Bam, nice, just like that. And we're good. So, we're gonna need some diamonds as well. I think 32 is more than enough. Throw those in there, throw those in there, the. and I know this is just a boring process that you guys have seen bajillions of times, I'm going to make that a real number, and bam, just like that, another 16 energy crystals, that's way more than I need, way more than my purpose is, but eh, what the heck, I'm going to overload this bag anyways, <laughs> so let's see, let's fill that whole thing up, I'll just throw the diamonds in there, what the heck, because my white bag is dedicated to throwing useless crap into. Let's see, what am I missing? So we need the energy crystals. We're also going to need some machine. Oh, it doesn't look like, oh, I think it's night, I forgot about that. Do, 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 sleep, 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 take your time. Okay, so we're going to get some refined iron, which is why I have all these stacks. We'll make a whole bunch of the, ch the blocks. I, I, my brain just died again. Why does my brain do this? Oh, brain, I'd never get you. So, let's see. And, do, do, do. I think that's most of what I can make. Maybe one more. There you go, that's all I can make. And now we have 25 machine blocks. And the machine blocks are gonna be making... Oh, wait, that's why, that's why I needed so many copper cables, duh. All well, I have to do to get copper cables is go search around here for the surplus of copper cables that I can almost guarantee exists. So we have a little surplus. Oh, why did they go this way? Huh, interesting. Do we have a surplus? Maybe we don't. Maybe we have a surplus over here. I hope we have a surplus. Maybe we don't. Huh, that's that's unusual. No, oh, yeah, there's a surplus. Okay. Um, I don't want to destroy a block because I have a feeling it'll mess something up. Oh, what the heck. Oh, yeah, mess something up. <laughs> nice. Good job, Luke. You have messed something up yet again. And is there anything above this? No, it doesn't look like there is. So we'll grab all these copper cables. So we've got, wow, a lot. And I think there's, is there any more? Nope. Yeah, we've been making w way too many copper cables going this way. So I'll set that to like 10, 15. Yeah, 10. So 10 of them will go that way. And lastly, we're going to put, replace this, and go back on top. And that's all we need, nothing more. 
Oh crap. <laughs> Smart Luke, you are a genius. Don't you guys aren't you guys jelly of my genius? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I can be an idiot sometimes, but I'm sure everyone has those idiot moments. I hope. I I don't want to be alone in this. So yes, nice, that's pumping out very quickly. Not quick enough, apparently. Nope, definitely not quick enough. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll just take as many as I can. Just to cleanse things up. Throw this in here. And speed the whole cy yeah, cycle up. Nice. So that way we don't screw everything up. And look at all the solar panels. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, I love these mods with the burning passion. I think this needs more iron. That's probably what it's lacking in. Let's go check on that. Iron, iron, iron. And you can see there's probably not enough iron going that way. I'll change that to three, see if that makes it any better. But otherwise, the cycle seems to be doing very well. I'm actually impressed. Awesome. The whole cycle is pretty much done. I just need to tweak it a bit, but eventually it'll be producing solar panels like you wouldn't believe, and it'll be way more worth it than a diamond generator. That's absolutely way more worth it. So let's go back to our base. What was I doing before? Oh man, I hate it when I do that. Oh, we're making those HV solar rays. That's right, my brain died. So, all you need to make it is we're gonna, eh, I might as well just get my white bag out. So, what we're gonna do is throw my useless crap in the white bag, like that. Okay, good enough. And what we need is a copper cable. No, two, uh, sorry, copper cables around a machine block, and that makes a medium voltage transformer. And then what we're gonna do is take about half of those. I uh, probably don't even need that much, I think. Uh, no, uh, I'll make 12. I think that's what I need. And then you put copper cable. I believe it is... Wait, how do you make it? Oh, dang it. Oh, yeah, that's simple. Okay, so let's get those out. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to take a whole bunch of them. And get rid of one. Where's my... There we go. Electronic circuits. Plenty of those as well. So electronic circuit on, t on the right. Copper cables. Get our medium, no, our high voltage. One, two, three. And then finally, that, or maybe not that. There we go. Okay, that's how you make it. Oh, dang it. I hate when you have to do this. Oh, this is annoying. So these high voltage transformers are, of course, using the high voltage solar array. Ah, uh, who would have guessed? And I think that's all I can make for now. I'm going to get four more of these. One, two, three, four. And now we can complete our little cycle. So these on the left, bam, bam. And then finally, medium voltage. So one, two, three, four, nice. So, oh my gosh, look at that, 12 HV transformers. That's, that's pretty impressive, 18 medium voltage. And we're gonna need a lot of low voltage, a lot. And low voltage are, of course, made with wood, which I don't seem to have any of. So I'm going to take some of the glass I put in here, so just half of it. Actually, I only need eight. And the whole reason I only need eight is because, well, wood is worth eight. Haha. <laughs> and glass is worth one. Logic. Yeah, I'm probably going to need more than that. Mm, I think four is enough. Okay, so... We got all the wood, we have copper cables. We're actually gonna need plain copper, which is annoying, but eh, I'll deal with it. So let's see, we're gonna get out some, t no, a piece of iron, and hopefully we can actually get some copper. No, that's bronze. Hmm, split it in half, there you go, copper. Okay, so I'm gonna burn this, burn this, put that in and get three full stacks. Yeah, three full stacks, nice. And so what you need to do is, I'll just throw that down, you get wood in the top left corner, you get a copper cable, wood in the top right, copper cable, copper cable, copper cable, I mean copper, 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 wood, copper cable, wood. And that makes low voltage transformers. And that's a full stack of 64. No joke, that's, that's how many I will need. Or maybe, no, I won't need that many. Will I? Oh, maybe I will. Oh, darn it. Okay, so we're gonna throw all these in. Don't need that. We can throw the low voltage transformer. 
And really, I thought I had, oh, there we go. So 64 low voltage solar rays. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely, in oh, there you go. Here's all the other ones. There's all the other ones. And we have another eight here. <laughs> so we're probably gonna need a couple more of the low voltage solar rays. But yeah, I'll just leave it how it is for now. So now what we're gonna do with the low voltage solar rays is make them into medium voltage, surprise, surprise. So what we're gonna do is get the medium voltage transformers. That's also a big surprise. I'm just full of surprises today, aren't I? Let's see, split these all up. And now we have eight of the medium voltage. And you know what that means? We can make eight, no, sorry, one high voltage. Yep, just one from all of that. I kind of overestimated how many I would need, but hey, what are you gonna do? And then this one will power, it's worth eight times this. So I'm gonna take this down. Actually, no, let's measure it. Let's measure it and see what it is before we take it down. And also should probably charge this up. Come on, let me open it. Oh, that's MFSU, got it. Okay, so I'm charging that up so I can break it. And let's see, we're gonna throw, we're gonna measure this. It's at 64 EU a tick. Okay, well, let's try putting on the high voltage solar array. And let's break this, hopefully not lose it. Let's throw that on there. And now we're gonna measure it. Start a new measurement. Oh, what's, what, what are, you, are you not working for some reason? Oh, okay, it seems to be sporadic in how it's working. Huh, weird. Maybe... Huh, that's interesting. Maybe I have to break it or something? Huh, that is weird. <laughs> okay, I don't know why it's not giving any power. That is weird, huh. No... Nope, yeah, see, it's, in, it's like random. It's like, oh, you have a random 46.55 EU tick. That is weird. Okay, well, for some reason it's not showing, but I can guarantee it's an absolute insane amount of energy. Let me try placing it down again. Uh, maybe placing it, placing it lower. Let's try it now. Where did that thing? Hmm, that is weird. Zero EU tick. I don't know why, but for some reason it is. Huh. Okay, and the MFSU is still at one million. <laughs> So that's that's weird, and these because they're powered should be draining power. Huh. Interesting. Very very interesting. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it just doesn't display because it's so high voltage or something like that. Maybe it only goes the, out the bottom or something. I don't know. Let me let me check on that up on that. Okay. So I don't know why it's not showing up on the EU reader. Maybe because it can't see it for some reason. But I can definitely see it here. Look at the MFSU. If I throw something in there to charge it, for example, my quantum suit leggings, and we watch it as it discharges, and then if we take it out, you can see that it quickly recharges. Almost, I think that's in the one, that's almost at the, wow, 100,000 EUs. <laughs> wow, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. This thing is, that's basically all I can describe it. <laughs> so I'm gonna move this over to my, I'm gonna dedicate the high voltage solar array. So we're gonna take, that's the medium voltage. I'm gonna take the high voltage one and we're gonna put it dedicated only to this machine right here. So let's see. I think I may just wanna separate it from the rest of the cycle. And we're gonna throw it, uh, I'll put it a couple blocks up just to make it nicer. So I'm picking these up just to move it. And what we're gonna do is place them one, two, three above. We're gonna throw this there and just watch. Well, it doesn't seem to be, oh, okay. It seems to be going a little bit, yeah, okay. That's a lot faster. That is a lot faster. <laughs> so it, it's definitely going a lot faster. There's no multipliers at all. As you can see, there's no recycler pumping in anything. So basically all of the, oh, actually there's a lot of scrap in here. I might as well use it, use this. <laughs> so we're gonna throw these in there just to see the multiplier. Look how fast that moves. And that's just one of them. My friends set up at least a hundred and they're 
It was absolutely insane. I can say that again and again and again. It's amazing. Very, very, very useful. We were going through an entire stack of scrap in a couple of seconds. It was just crazy. And the whole reason why I can do this, make this this much power, and imagine if this one was, actually, let's try it. Let me, I'm gonna disconnect this one. Let's watch how fast this one goes. Look at that. It's going through scrap like you wouldn't believe. 38, 40, 50, 60%, oh my god. I'm gonna leave this one plugged in just so we can keep running it. But this is the most useful thing I have ever made by far. This process right here, this insanely complex, lots of pistons, pumps, things everywhere, worth it. Totally worth it. If you guys want a tutorial, well, just go and say, hey, Luke, you should totally do a tutorial and like stuff like that. And also remember, I'll do spot outs, I mean, spotlights for anyone. So if you guys want me to, uh, want me to do a spotlight for you, just say, or yes, a spotlight? Is it a spotlight? Yeah, or something like that. Shout out, shout out. If you want me to do a shout out for you, just say, hey, Luke, can I get a shout out? I'll be like, yeah, sure. And I'll go check out your channel. I'll watch your videos and be like, wow, those are awesome videos. I'm going to go, this guy's awesome. Watch his videos, guys. Just uh, just saying. And not to mention, oh, what, was I, what was I saying? So if you want a tutorial for this, I know I get sidetracked. If you want a tutorial for this machine, I will definitely simplify it. I'll make it a lot larger just to make it more visible. And that, because right now it's super compact, super compressed. Probably as compact as you can get it, maybe just a little bit bigger. I'm sure you can get rid of some machines and stuff like that, but definitely as compact as you can get right now. Very, very much worth it. An absolute amazing thing to make. Very much worth it. I would, if I were you guys, I would try to make it and ask me for a tutorial. Just, just, just saying. And as you can see, this is still running, producing e UU matter. At, look at that, it just without any multipliers, it's producing at just about 1% every 3 seconds? Two, yeah, 2 to 3 seconds. Wow. I, I, I'm i pretty jelly. I'm pretty jelly of how amazing this thing is. <laughs> and I'm just going to throw in some more scrap, that's just, why not? And let's, yeah, look how fast that goes. 47, 48, 49, 50, that's amazing, just amazing, that's 10% every three seconds amazing let's see and of course I should get that recycler up and running and it's gonna have to be running really fast do I have any recyclers in here no it doesn't look like it oh darn it oh well <laughs> so I think I'm gonna cut this episode off now I'm sorry for not doing the nuke but I think this this project right here is definitely my most amazing and definitely the most ambitious and as you can see, I lit up the place, it's nice and secure. I guarantee no nuke will do any damage to anything outside, if you, unless there's no door here. Then it'll just do a little damage right here. But otherwise, there'll be absolutely no damage. This thing is perfect. Pretty much perfect. I, it's two blocks thick everywhere, so no damage. And also, I'm going to make the outdoor area. I'm going to actually make a... I think I may want to make a staircase. I don't know, you guys decide. Should I do... A walkway or a staircase or should I do a teleporter to my main base you guys decide I'm gonna let you choose it and also because I have so many projects I don't know if I really want you guys to tell me another project to do but you guys can think of short projects I can do that I can do in less than an episode or maybe in just one episode please tell me I will do them I can guarantee that and unless they're like dumb <laughs> unless they're like really dumb like hey Luke can you make a sheep farm and I'll be like why would I make a sheep farm? And they're like, oh, because I like sheep. And I'd just be like, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's completely useless. And I, I still love this. I'll say this over and over and over. I love this. <laughs> so yes, this is Luke. You have indeed been watching OPK Gaming. If you liked the video, remember to comment, subscribe, likes, favorite, stuff like that. And if you like my channel, uh, I think I already said subscribe. So subscribe. And this is Luke. You have indeed been watching OPK Gaming. You said that already. And I hope you all have a very, very nice day. And I hope you guys like the music. If you guys don't, well, just tell me and I'll turn it off. Guaranteed. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a, I'm such a loving guy. Bye.